In the next four minutes, we're going to prove the turn code theorem in four easy steps. So what's the first step? The first step is to make a construction, right? So we go into construct a diameter uh, that passes through point O, obviously. So if I do that, uh, we're going to have something like uh, what I just drew on the left hand side and then we can name that point on top of the circle point uh, Z right and then we can join uh, D and Z you don't have to name it point Z you can name it any letter you want you can name it Y you can name it Q and so on so we have um done step number one and then now we can move to step number two what is step number two is to show that uh this angle here is equal to this angle and then how do we show that so we're gonna say angle d z f f is here is equal to angle E because they are subtended uh, by the same chord uh, DF, right? So this chord DF is subtending uh, this angle and this angle. So the angles must be equal. And with that said, we are done with step number two and we can move to step number three. So step number three, we're going to prove that uh, this angle DFK, uh, DFK here is also equal to uh, angle DZF, right? And then if we can prove that, then we have proved that DFK is equal to E. So let's see how we will go about that. So we can see that angle ZDF, um, this angle here is equal to 90 that is because it's subtended by diameter right so we're gonna say angle z d f equals to 90 degrees because it has been subtended uh, by a diameter a diameter always subtend an angle of 90 degrees right so now that uh, we have said that let's calculate uh, the value of dzf right so if we use uh, the sum of angles in a triangle we're gonna get uh, dzf uh, plus angle zdf uh, plus angle df uh, z equals to 180 degrees so what is the size of uh, dzf is the angle we are interested in right so we're gonna have dzf uh, plus zdf zdf we just say that it's 90 degrees uh, plus df uh, z uh, equals to 180 degrees so if we take uh, this expression to the left hand, to the right hand side we're gonna get angle dzf is equal to 180 minus 90 minus d f uh, z so dzf will just be equals to 90 degrees minus d f uh, z so that's it we have determined uh, dzf and is equal to 90 minus dfz now we are just left with proving that angle dfk is also equal to 90 minus dfz and we are gonna be done so if you look uh, on our diagram uh, you will realize that this angle kfz is 90 degrees this entire angle and uh, that is because uh, where the radius and the tangent touches the form 90 right so we're gonna have uh, d f k uh, plus d f uh, z equals to 90 degrees right and then if we make dfk the subject of the formula we're gonna get dfk equals to 90 minus dfz right so now we can see that dfk is equals to d 
zf but we know that dzf is equals to e right so that will all be equals to e and by that we have proved the tan chord theorem so you might be asking yourself is that all or do we have to do something else yes we have to do something else step five is to subscribe and like the video